I've always been inquisitive about things, how things work, um, and I have always had a sort of discovery bug, like the idea of trying to figure things out and how things work, and research just seemed the, the obvious thing to apply it to. The focus of my research is on wound healing in the mouth and in skin. So we've designed um, biomaterials made of collagen and some proteins called matricellular proteins, which are normally expressed during wound healing and uh, we've had great success in diabetic models of seeing these wounds close up to five or ten times faster. The second area that we're working on is regeneration of the periodontal structures, the tooth supporting structures after periodontal disease. So again we've designed another couple of membranes that uh, release growth factors or mimic the structure of uh, the periodontal ligament to try to get the cells, the stem cells that exist in the periodontal ligament to migrate up and regenerate the tissues. So our focus is really to, to change the microenvironment of these wound areas and recruit the necessary cells in there by using biomaterials. One of the things that we found, although we don't know why, is that the scaffold that we were placing uh, causes vascularization of the wound bed. And uh, we were very excited about that. We're not sure exactly why it's happening, but uh, I think in terms of potential impact and something that I saw that made me sort of go, wow, that's probably it. The drive is really to try to, to get rid of these things because people are dying when they don't need to die through things like septicemia because the wounds are not closing and the reality is that there is no reproducible treatment. Um, periodontal disease is something that people suffer from. Again, we don't believe that this needs to be the case. We think we can, we can regenerate this stuff. 80% of amputations are caused uh, in diabetics because of non-closing wounds on their lower limbs and uh, talking with Tom Forbes, who's the Chair of Vascular Surgery, 90% uh, of the patients that are referred to him will probably undergo a lower limb amputation. I had an aunt who died this year from a chronic wound and so I think we genuinely can come up with things to heal these things and uh, so we've been very aggressive with filing patents and things to make sure that our materials are, are protected because I think this stuff can translate to the clinic very rapidly.